sorry if you can't hear me there's a bunch of buses everywhere i am about to go to hollywood studios and then we're going to park hop to magic kingdom Galaxy's Edge, but it looks like Rise of the Resistance is down today, which is so sad. So fingers crossed that it opens up, but 100% I'm gonna go on Smuggler's Run. Howdy, you must be the new toy. I'm Sheriff Woody, and the only rule around here, have a great time. <laughs> Smuggler's Run has a single rider line and that is the greatest thing that could have ever happened to me. I tried to recreate it at home and it does not taste as good when you try to make it yourself so word of advice just get it just get it at the parks because you won't be able to replicate it yourself um, it's because it has like cream cheese stuff in it and I feel like every time I try to make something with cream cheese it just ends up not going well for me so I just got the straw to stir it I highly recommend it is so good Are you spotting anything? Company, first order 
inside the transport and supervise your children. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. It didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, go to the prison. Cover is blown. Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway? Detention block breach. Prisoners last seen in the down to the escape points. The Resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! All personnel to their stations! The prisoners have escaped! How brave! But ultimately hopeless. Broken! <laughs> Transports with your own batteries? Ingenious.
It's Finn. Where are you guys? The car doors are locked. Hey, I thought Beck was handling it. Well, never mind. It's okay. I've got the override code here. Somewhere. Okay, the doors are closed. See you on the ground. I just had probably the the best ride experience on Rise of the Resistance ever and it's because it was a little bit broken and it's so funny because so many people are like the broken animatronics and stuff like that like ruin the experience for some people and that's totally fair but for me that's like my favorite thing about the rides is when they break <laughs> We're on the ride, neither of the Kylos are working, and on the scene that has a B mode, that we didn't even go to the B mode, so that was like crazy. That was the best experience I've ever had, ever. That made me so happy. I was going to leave Hollywood Studios for now and like go to Magic Kingdom. I completely forgot that Star Tours existed, so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna leave. I also wanna say that there was the nicest cast member um, at Rise of the Resistance, literally. So I'm here for my DCP and they give us this little pin that I showed you. Um, so the cast member, he saw my pin and he was asking me questions about my program and stuff like that and then he took me through the pa fast pass lane. So that made my entire day. It was fantastic. Hello? Otto, what have I done? Where do the activists have seconds? Yes, I think they would. And hurry up, they'll be needing this console at any moment now. I said I was gonna go to Magic Kingdom after Star Tours, but I've been really craving a Ronto wrap. Last time I was here, I got one in Galaxy's Edge. And it was so good and I've been contemplating probably for like the last two hours if I should get one because they're kind of expensive and my logic my my logic for justifying this purchase is that I have a ton of cash girl math wise cash is free money so I'm basically getting a free Ronto wrap because I'm not using my credit card or my debit card that's a horrible thought process and I'm aware of that but at least it gets me food. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, it's kind of an excuse just to go back to Galaxy's Edge because I love Galaxy's Edge. Here's the Ronto wrap. It is so good. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what's in it. And also I have to take a bite left-handed. My Hollywood Studios recommendations are the Star Wars things because that's where I like to get my food. I'm leaving Hollywood Studios for now, officially. Um, most likely I'll come back today though because I love Magic Kingdom, but I don't feel like spending a lot of time there today, which is strange.
we did not go through the pre-show doing the single rider line. So that was really sad because I love animatronics and that one has a really cool Hondo animatronic. Um, Rise of the Resistance, we had a cast member take me through the lightning lane because of my little cast member celebrating my program pin. And that was so nice and awesome and I got on so quickly and that one still takes you through the pre-show. Um, I was so happy I decided to film on Rise of the Resistance because what even happened? There was so much busted stuff. The Kylo Ren animatronics were both broken and we didn't go to B mode, which was crazy. And I thought for sure that we were gonna break down before the drop because like we were taking so long to get in. Now I have to find my way to the buses through Caribbean Beach. Never stepped foot into Caribbean Beach Resort ever. <laughs> but we're gonna follow the signs and hope for the best. I successfully navigated Caribbean Beach. I found the buses. Okay, my fun little detour is over. We're basically in the Magic Kingdom. We just gotta walk to the entrance, go through security, and get inside. I'm so excited. Low key, I think my first stop is gonna be a churro because the last time I was in Disney, we didn't get churros because we're stupid, apparently. Sorry if I'm squinty and if it's loud. I just don't know where else to go because there's literally nowhere to go, but I got the churro. So I'm gonna try it. They gave, it comes with the chocolate sauce, so I'm gonna try it without and then with it. Mm. That is way crunchier than I thought it was gonna be. Maybe they're better at Disneyland, but it's a little underwhelming. I'm heading over to Pirates. The app says it has 35 minutes, so Fingers crossed that I get in before that gets longer. I did just see Tiana's Bayou Adventure though, and it is obviously under construction, but I'm so happy for that to open. I really hope that opens while I'm here for my CP. That would be so awesome because I cannot wait to ride it. leaving Magic Kingdom because it's really like stressing me out right now and I don't know why. Honestly, I think I'm gonna head back to Hollywood Studios because I adore Hollywood Studios and it's also not as packed as Magic Kingdom is. I am sad to be leaving Magic Kingdom. I feel like I didn't give it the time it deserved, but right now, I don't know what's going on. I just, I just feel like I should be in Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios is like my home. Literally, it's dramatic, but like, I am dramatic, so I just have to find the bus. I'm gonna do Smuggler's Run again when I get there, and this time just stand in the standby queue because I was really sad that I didn't get to see the Hondo animatronic. So I'm gonna go back, stand the whole 65 minutes. I'm back in line for Smuggler's Run, but this time we're going through the um, actual queue because I want to see the animatronic. It's a 75 minute wait. So, not ideal, but shorter than it was when I came in the summer. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. I just got off Smuggler's Run. I got to be a pilot, and honestly, I think I did really good. I, like, ran into one thing which is impressive considering how much that thing moves. Second ride through on Rise of the Resistance. The first Kylo was still broken, but the second one was fixed and that whole scene played out normally, which was kind of sad because I kind of wanted to see the B mode, but I'm glad that it wasn't like awkward because <laughs> the first time it was so awkward with like the way it wasn't working. Anyway, so that was really exciting. Um, this is so sad. I want to stay in Hollywood Studios forever and I want to stay a lot longer, but I need to leave the parks now because I have traditions tomorrow morning at eight. So I don't want to be 
late for that. That would not be good, especially since that's like my first like official DCP thing. So I'm headed back to the bus stop. Um, and then I think I'm gonna run to Target to get like granola bars. That's pretty much it because we need like a dry snack for traditions and I don't have any, so I need to get some. Another reason I'm actually excited to leave is so that I can get myself more coffee because I've got coffee back at the apartment. So <laughs> it is literally taking everything in me to not buy coffee because I have a problem, clearly. I did not go on Hollywood Tower today. Um, and that was mostly because I much prefer everything that happens in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And two, the line was really long. It was kind of painfully long. And it does not help that Rock and Roller Coaster is closed right now. So rides like Rise of the Resistance and Hollywood Tower, they get longer lines because another ride that gets a long line is shut down. I love the Hollywood Tower, but it's just for another Hollywood Studio Day, which I'm gonna be back here on Saturday, so maybe I'll do Hollywood Tower then, but knowing me, I'll probably just end up spending the entire time in Galaxy's Edge. It is way later in the evening, and I am back in my room. I have traditions tomorrow, I think I already said that, so I need to be waking up early for that. Um, I'm excited. This is like the first like real thing I get to do as a Disney cast member. Thank you for joining me on these last two park days and I will see you in my next video. Bye!